a formal email. Formal emails are normally sent to people in an official position or people that you don't know well. For example, director of studies, personal manager, etc. They are written in a formal style with a polite, impersonal tone. A formal email should consist of formal greeting, like Dear Sir, Madam, an introduction in which you write your opening remarks and mention your reason or reasons for writing, like I'm writing to apply for the position of a main body in which you write about the main subject or subjects of the letter in detail, starting a new paragraph for each topic. Conclusion, in which you write your closing remarks, like I look forward to hearing from you as soon as possible. And a formal ending, yours faithfully, yours sincerely. Formal style. Formal style is characterized by the use of advanced vocabulary, formal linking words or phrases, and sequentry, however, therefore, for this reason, polite forms without contractions, I would be grateful if, I would appreciate it if you could, I would like to apply, and colloquial expressions, phrasal verbs, idioms, and short forms are not used in formal style. Yours faithfully, versus yours sincerely. Use faithfully when you don't know the name of the person you're writing to. Dear Sir Madam would be the greeting, yours faithfully would be the ending. Use sincerely when you know the name of the person you're writing to. Dear Mrs. Adams, which means that you know the person, you know the name, you don't know the person, you know the name. The closing would be yours sincerely. Be careful. Use the person's surname, not his or first, her first name. So don't write dear Tom. Write dear Mr. Um, Bond. Add your name and surname after this ending. Yours faithfully, yours sincerely, Mario Pelif. Informal email. Greeting, dear Paul, hi Paul. Formal email. Dear sir, dear madam, or if you know the name of the person, dear Mr. or Mrs. and uh, the person's surname. Introduction. I'm writing. Formal email. I am writing. No contractions. <clears throat> Main body. I'd like to. Contraction. Formal email. I would like. No contraction. Conclusion, look forward to seeing you, hope to see you soon, let's meet soon. In a formal email, I look forward to hearing from you. The complete form without any abbreviations and without skipping any pronoun. Ending, best wishes, regards, hugs, kisses, xxx. Formal email, yours faithfully if you don't know the person's surname, yours sincerely if you know the person's surname.